फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर ऑल आई होप ऑल यू फाइन एंजॉय द हॉलीडेज एट होम नाइस डे यू कैन रिमेंबर मी टू माय आई एम आई एम मैथ्स टीचर लक्ष्मी सो फ्रॉम सेंटेंस स्कूल व्हिच इज योर स्कूल सेंटेंस स्कूल सो यू ऑल बिलोंग टू सेंटेंस स्कूल यस यस सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद ब्रिज कोर्स सो द टॉपिक इन मैथ्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद ब्रिज कोर्स Again, that single digit you explain. So zero to nine. Panam sir, miss one minute. Okay. So the first topic under bridge course, we are going to read about numbers. So here zero to nine. So this zero to nine is known as single digit numbers. So again here from eleven to thirty. So these are called. As under this basics now we are going to read about numbers so you can see under numbers the single digit it starts from 0 to 9 0 to 9 and again the second one is from 11 to 99 these numbers are known as double digit numbers numbers 11 to 99 so these are called as double digit numbers so here you can see the numbers from 100 to 99 so you can see here the difference between from the beginning to the third one so the first is the single digit number the second one is the two digit numbers the third one is three digit numbers so the final one is four digit numbers 1000 to 9999 so these are four digit numbers Okay, children. Now the second topic is addition. Everybody knows what is addition. So the symbol of addition is plus. Sorry. The symbol of addition is plus. So here the first sum I'm going to do here single digit numbers. Single digit numbers. There is no carrying here. You can see easily five plus two. Five plus two. So now we are having five chocolates. How many chocolates do people are having now? Five. So immediately, your sister is doing. She is giving you two chocolates. Your sister is giving you two chocolates. Previous, how many are having? Five chocolates. So now, total you can see here, five plus two is seven. So now, we are so happy that you are having now seven chocolates to enjoy yourself. Yes. So it is. 
is very clear to you. 5 plus 2 is 7. Correct? Yes. Now, let us move on to the second sum. 15 plus 2. So, here you can see 2 digit numbers. Here you can see 2 digit numbers. 15 plus 2. So, now you are having 15. You are having two digit numbers. 1, 5, 1, 2. So here you are adding first with the ones place. You are adding here with the ones place or units place. So again 5 plus 2. 5 plus 2. 7 and 1 plus 1, 2. So you can say this number as 27. 7 is in ones place and 2 is in tens place. So, even in the addition also, it is a rule that you must follow from right to left. Right to left. So, the third sum. Here you can see 27 plus 17. 27 plus 17. So, both the sevens are in the ones place or units place. So, 2 plus 1. So, these two digits are in tens place. So, 2 plus 1 are in tens place. So, here 7 plus 7. 7 plus 7. 14. So, what you must do? 14. So, write the 1's place of 4 here and the tens place of 1 should be carried. So, here we are doing the carry sum. So, 7 plus 7 is 14. So, the 1's place of 4 you are writing in the answer column and you are carrying 1. So now here it is easy you can add 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4. So the answer is 44. So 1, 4 is in 1's column, the second 4 is in 10's column. So it is called as 44. So the fourth sum you can see here 3 digit numbers. So in the 1's place you can see 3 and 7. In the 1's place you can see 3 and 7. So 3 plus 7 is 10. 3 plus 7 is 10 whereas you are writing the 0 that is in 1's answer column and carry the 1's to the 10's column. So here again 7 plus 4 is in 10's place. The easy way of adding C here 7 plus 1 is 8. 7 plus is, 1 is how much? 8. So 8 plus 4. How much is 8 plus 4? Can anybody tell? It's very easy that 12. So can be 1 to 100 place. So now you can see here 3 is in 1 place, 7 is in 10 place, 5 is in 100 place. So now 5. See already you carry 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. 1 Plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. 6 plus 2 is 8. So you can read this number as 820. So 8 is in hundreds place. 0 is in ones place. 2 is in tens place. So units, tens, hundreds. That is 820 is your answer. So another bridge course. The last topic for today we are going to do is subtraction. So what the symbol of subtraction is small dash. The symbol of subtraction is a small dash. So now single digit of subtraction 7 minus 3. So children the single digit is 7 and 3. These both numbers are in ones place. So first you must remember 7 and 3 are both in ones place. So now your mom has given you 7 gulab jamuns. I think so water is more this watering now. 7 gulab jamuns your mommy has given. So your naughty brother mom is coming and doing you me 3 gulab jamuns. So he is coming and asking you you me 3. So now what to do? He is a brother. You wants to give 3 gulab jamuns to him. So out of 7 gulab jamuns your naughty brother he is taking 3 gulab jamuns. So sad no? So how many gulab jamuns are remaining for you? Only 4. So out of 7, your brother is taking 3 jumps. So how many are remaining now? Only 4. So the answer is 4. So now you are done only single digit numbers. So subtraction 
is nothing but with what you are having, somebody is taking away or you are lending to them. That is an actual meaning of subtraction. Subtraction means somebody is taking or two people are lending. So the second sum. You can see here two digit numbers. So ones and tens. So in ones place you can see seven, three. In tens place you can see five and one. So seven. Out of seven pencils, you are lending for your friend three pencils. Out of seven pencils, you are lending for your friend three pencils. Because it's a lazy boy, he never draw the pencils like you people. Yes. So out of seven, your friend is taking three pencils. So what is the answer now? Come on, seven pencils are with you. Three pencils your friend has borrowed. What is the how many pencils remaining now with you? Only four pencils. So again, your mummy has given you five erasers. And again, one more friend is coming. Please give me one eraser. So out of five, you are giving one eraser. So how many erasers remaining with you? Only four erasers. So 44 is the answer. 57 minus 13, 44. So 4 is in one place, the other 4 is in 10 place. So 44. So let us see the third sum. So let us see the third sum. 7, 9. So 97 minus 38. So 7 is in one place and again 8 is also in one place. So 7. In 7 you can't take out 8. Why? Because 7 is the smallest number and 8 is greatest number. So what you have to do? You have to take something from your friend which you are not having. For example, you are not having one sharpener. So what you are doing? Your friend is having 8 sharpeners. So your 9 sharpeners your friend is having now. So you are taking one sharpener with you. So from 9 sharpeners, you are taking one sharpener. How many sharpeners you are taking? One sharpener. So, 17. 17 minus 8. What is the answer? What is the answer? 9. So, from 9, you have taken 1. So, from 9, you have taken 1. So, what is the answer here? 8. 8. So, 8 minus 3. 8 minus 3 is 5. So, the answer is 50. 9. So, the last sum is 3 digits numbers. 1s, 10s, 100s. So, now here also you can see 5 is the smallest number, 7 is the biggest number. So, the same thing what you must follow is you have to borrow from the previous number. So, 15. 15. Now, 15 minus 7. 15 minus 7 is 8. 15 minus 7 is 8. Now you can see here, from out of 4, you have borrowed 1. So the number will be here, 3. So both the numbers are 3 now. 3 minus 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. So here is number 7. 7 is the greatest number and you can see 1 is the least number. So it is very easy to minus for your people. 7 minus 1 is 6. 7 minus 1 is 6. So, these are the three topics today have been learned under the bridge course. So, today's assignment is children. You have to. So, children, finally, today's assignment is number 1. Write from 1 to 100 words. Write from 1 to 100 words. So, second homework is addition. Two single digit, five sums, two digits. 5 sums, 3 digits, 5 sums. Please don't do the simple direct sums. You have to do the carry over sums. Yeah. Already I showed in the example sums for you all. Third one, subtraction. Do single digit <laughs> Third topic is subtraction. Do single digit, 5 sums. 2 digits, borrowing 5 sums. 3 digits, Borrowing 5 sums. Direct sums should not be done. You have to borrow and do the sums. Should be submitted to the school. So that's all for today's class. Thank you children. So if any doubts let us meet in the previous class. Thank you. So children, today 
the assignments should be submitted to the school without fail. Homework should be done compulsory and it will be checked and maintain one particular book. Please don't write in papers or anywhere and throw it away. Your assignments are very very valuable. Please maintain a 200 pages notebook and write the sums neat and clear as if I will be telling you in the class. Maintain two finger gap space between each sums. So, thank you children. Let us meet in the next class.